In the summer of 2022, the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, Sixth Generation Fighter Jet Program appears to be on its way to becoming the next big thing, channeling the energy of WWE's Brock Lesnar. In air combat technology, while fifth-generation stealth fighters, such as the American F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, and the Chinese Chengdu J-20 inches Fagin, and Russian Suhoi Su-57 inches Felon, are still relatively new to the world and relatively untested in combat compared to fourth-generation fighters like the F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-15 Eagle. Fast forward to today, and there seems to be a lot of trouble in paradise, the infamous, for the current and future viability of the NGAD program. So, this begs the question, should NGAD be paused? Should the program be allowed to continue, or should it have been nipped in the bud? And why is the program in the bud? Now we will try to answer these questions. Early History of NGAD The NGAD program traces its roots back to March 2014. It is hard to believe that it has been more than 10 years since the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, completed a series of studies to explore concepts for a 2030s air superiority system for the United States Air Force, USAF, and the U.S. Navy. Based on the results of these studies, the U.S. Department of Defense DoD, launched the Aerospace Innovation Initiative AII, in 2015 to develop a prototype X-plane to demonstrate technologies for a future fighter aircraft. Fast forward to June 2022, and the Congressional Research Service CRS, released a report that at least sheds some light on what was, and still is, a highly classified project. The Air Force intends for NGAD to replace the F-22 fighter jets starting in 2030, possibly including a combination of manned and unmanned aircraft, with other systems and sensors. Since 2015, Congress has appropriated approximately $4.2 billion for NGAD, on September 15, 2020, then Air Force Acquisition Executive Drive. Will Roper announced that the Air Force had flown a full-scale flight demonstrator as part of the NGAD program. Secretary of the Air Force, SECAF, Frank Kendall announced on June 1, 2022, that the NGAD program's technology has matured enough to allow the program to move into the engineering, manufacturing, and design development phase. So what's the big deal with NGAD? Well, it all comes down to dollars and common sense. As my national interest colleague Stavros Atlamazoglo outlined in an article published last month, with the F-35 Lightning II estimated to cost the U.S. military more than $2 trillion, the Air Force is worried about a repeat of the NGAD. The Air Force estimates that each NGAD stealth fighter could cost upwards of $300 million, making it a very expensive aircraft, and the Air Force doesn't seem willing to pay that price. For comparison, the Lightning II costs about $80 million per unit, according to the National Interest's Harrison Cass. But despite all the controversy surrounding the F-35 over its high cost and reported reliability issues, it is at least now a combat-proven platform, thanks to the Israeli Air Force, which uses its F-35 Ayadir, translated as, Mighty, Variant Toso II did the F-22, which first saw blood in combat when it was used to shoot down a notorious Chinese spy balloon in February 2023. So what's the alternative? Enter the, light combat aircraft, concept proposed at the Global Chiefs of Staff of the Air and Space Forces Conference in London last July by Chief of Staff of the Air Force, CSAF, General David Alvin. This marked a conceptual shift in aircraft development from a, built to last, philosophy to a, built to adapt, philosophy, which in turn evoked the broad military mantra of, adapt, improve, overcome, as well as the USAF's own dictum. That, flexibility is the key to air power. NGAD. As Harrison Cass further explained, on paper, such a shift makes sense. Technology is improving at an exponential rate. Modularity is the expectation, allowing the airframe to be incrementally upgraded with new software and avionics as technology becomes available. Making a rigid technology commitment to a multi-billion dollar platform that could be obsolete in years, not decades, seems foolish. An emphasis on adaptability would ensure that the new airframe would be around for a while. Alvin said that the decision to build a long-lasting system could be a liability, still functional but not as effective, the U.S. Air Force has a large portion of its systems designed and developed with this value proposition in mind.
The light fighter would be built on adaptability, not toughness. It's too early to declare the NGAD concept dead. Government programs tend to have long lifespans, though they don't always come to fruition. The NGAD concept still has merit and potential, and until the day comes that if and when the powers that be at DOD in general and the USAF in particular formally announce the cancellation of NGAD, as the saying goes, it ain't over, till it's over. Time will tell.